Hi, I'm Susie Clark. I'm a makeup artist from Manchester. Today I'm going to be doing an everyday makeup look. So to start off, I'm just going to do my base. I'm using a Real Techniques buffing brush and MAC um, Face and Body Foundation in C4. This is a really light foundation. I'm going to pop a little bit on the back of my hand. The more you work with this, the thicker it goes, so it depends and how thick you want your cover coverage. For a normal everyday makeup, I like to wear a light foundation and then a little bit of concealer on my blemishes. Um, and then for a night out, I'd wear more of a thicker foundation, but it's completely up to you. Just apply this all over the face and the eyelids. Just make sure you blend it down onto your neck. Make sure there's no lines. Then over the blemishes, I'm using MAC Studio Fix Concealer in NW25. Just over the redness on my cheeks. Here's the blemishes on my chin. So just using my finger, I'm just going to apply that concealer over my eyelids. So then using the MAC Studio Fix Concealer in Mid Peach from the same palette, I'm just going to pop that under the eyes. I always like to add a lighter colour under the eyes, just because it cheats a bit of a highlight and contour. Makes your eyes look a bit fresher. Just under the brows. And then along the nose. This looks very dewy, so you can just, if you like the dewy look, you can just um, powder along your T zone. And then across my eyelid. And just give a tiny dust in all over the face. I'm just going to take a bronzer. I'm using MUA bronzer. I'm just lightly going to pop it along my cheekbones. This adds a bit of colour to your face and also does a slight bit of contouring to slim down on the face. Pop that 
on the sides of my nose. Then with a MAC 217 blending brush, just pop that into your socket line. forward so just to create some nice definition on your eyes For this you can use any like medium brown eyeshadow or light brown and then on your lid I'm using a nice shimmery colour. This is Gleam from MAC Eyeshadow. Just pop that on your lid up to the socket line. I'm just going to go back in there with the bronzer and the 217. Blend it out. Then for the liner, I'm going to take an angled brush and a Louise Young black eyeshadow. And then just lightly press it into my lash line. On the end, if you pop the brush the other way around, Sort of create a little wing and then pull it back in. I like to do a nice smudgy line first with the eyeshadow and then go over it with the gel liner. So I like to do that and then just blend it out a little bit. Then using a fine brush and Maybelline gel liner, I'm just going to retrace over that line just a little bit neater. Take the excess off the back of my hand. And then just in small strokes, just create a line.
keep checking back to the other eye to make sure you're getting them even. And then from there, I'm going to add some Maybelline Falsies Mascara. And then with a small fine brush, I'm just going to use some Crystal Avalanche Eyeshadow by MAC. Just like a light shimmery colour and just pop that in the inner corners. This is great for brightening the eyes. Then for the brows. Using a small angle brush and the Collection 2000 gel liner in brown. I'm just going to fill in my brows. I always start from the, the inner brow and then work out towards the corner of the brow. And then I'm just going to add some natural false lashes. These are red cherry lashes in 43. I'm going to add some duo lash glue on the back of my hand. And trace the lashes along the glue. And I'll just pop the lashes onto the lash line. Shielding out our edge first. And pinch that into place. And then attach the inner corner. the other one because it's such a natural look you don't want anyone to see the, the, la the lashes near the line so sometimes I like to go back over it just with the fine line brush and the gel liner
can I just add a slight bit of pink blush to the cheeks? I'm using a La Masca blusher in Nymph. Just so that I pulls. Sometimes it's easy if you can't find the apples of your cheeks just to smile a little bit. And then I'm just going to add a natural lip colour. It's like a natural nudie pink. If you want to make the eyes a little bit more defined, you can always go in the socket line with a little bit more of a darker brown or just blend the black up a little bit more. But this is basically the natural look.